San Diego County is using a new system to warn beachgoers of any bacteria in the water off our coast. It comes as thousands of people are expected to visit local beaches for the 4th of July weekend. ABC 10 News reporter Sophia Hernandez is joining us with a look at how it'll work. Sophia. Yeah, Lindsay, if there is bacteria or sewage in the water, you will see one of three signs posted. And the county says that this is just a step in the right direction to make sure that people are accurately informed about how safe these waters are. However, local mayors say that signs like this one will just have people turning away. Wednesday, the County of San Diego shared that starting July 1st, there will be new signs posted on South County beaches. The signs range from advisory, warning to closure, and are posted based on daily testing by a new system that was adopted in May. This new test uh, is much more accurate, and so the, the county is able to make much more informed decisions about how uh, we are able to inform uh, beachgoers. However, Mayor Richard Bailey of Coronado believes these new tiers don't paint an accurate picture. The water today at Coronado's beaches is just as safe and just as clean as it was all previous summers. Before beaches would be closed if there was suspected sewage in the water. Now there's three categories. An advisory if there is bacteria found in water that exceeds the state standards. A warning where beaches will remain open, but sewage is suspected in the water and a closure where there is sewage in the water. Bailey says warning signs will just turn people away. They're changing the threshold once again, and they're saying, hey, even if the same conditions happened earlier this summer, you know what, we're not actually going to close the beaches. So either the beaches should have been open then, or the beaches should be closed now. And so it really just kind of begs the question, you know, what is this threshold and what is it actually based off? And is it the appropriate threshold to be using? The county believes it is. So now the beauty of this is that our business owners and our community can actually, they actually can tell people, look, the beaches are open and they're clean and they're safe. However, Mayor Bailey says he's worried about the holiday weekend, tourists coming into town to potentially find their vacation destination closed off. Now, Vice Chair Vargas did say that at the end of the day, it is up to the individual on whether or not they choose to enter the water. That is, unless there is a closure like there is right now here at Imperial Beach. Now, again, this will be in effect starting July 1st until September when these tiers will be reevaluated. Reporting live at Imperial Beach, Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. Take a look at this.